morning everyone waterfaller 41 here and in today's video we are going to be finishing up the lighting upgrades on my 2020 ram rebel with the installation of z roads rear bumper led light mount kit so basically what this is is part number z384821 and this fits 2019 or newer ram trucks so it also fits the ram rebel so what do we get in the kit so the kit comes with custom brackets that will fit up behind the bumper and give you a mounting location for these little second brackets that come in the kit as well. And that gives you the ability to mount the included six inch single row LED kit or LED pods. So there's a second kit that they offer as well with a double row LED that is a little bit lower wattage. So it's got a little bit lower output um, and also kind of a lower price point. So I went with these because I wanted to have kind of a slimline uh, LED kit or LED mount up underneath the bumper. And with the single row, you get a higher wattage or higher output, so it all kind of works out in the end. So how do these install? Uh, pretty simple. You just take this bracket, goes up, under, installs on two existing bolts up behind the bumper, and then this little bracket here attaches to the underside of those bumper brackets, and then you attach your LEDs, and then you run your wire. So in the kit, you obviously get the brackets, you get the LEDs, you get a gigantic wiring harness. So that has a relay built into it. So if you wanted to just wire these up so they're either on a switch or so they come on only when you're in reverse, you could wire that relay so you do that. Now, if you remember in my truck, I have the Trigger 4 Plus wireless controller in the cab. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wire these lights to that four channel remote up inside my cab. So if I ever need the lights on whenever, I don't have to be in reverse, I can just hit the, the, the switch and then the channel will turn on the rear lights. Now, as far as complication, that means I need to basically run a wire from the rear of the truck all the way to the front up to the controller. But everything's outside of the cab, so we should be good. So outside of what comes in the kit, I'll also need to be using the one of the other harnesses from the Trigger 4 Plus kit. And then got to upgrade my stickers on my remote. And then we're going to need some electrical supplies. So you get the hardware everything to make this a turnkey solution for auxiliary reverse lights on your truck. What I'll do today is we'll install these and then we'll come back later on tonight and I'll show you what the output looks like with these versus just being in reverse in normal mode. So let's go ahead and start the installation. Okay we are up underneath my truck and I just wanted to show you where these brackets are going. So we're on the passenger side right now. So with the passenger side you'd find the bracket that has R on it since it's the right side of the truck and you take the bracket and basically it's reusing these two locations here so what you're going to do is back these bolts out or back these nuts out and then this bracket just slips right up on there and then you just put the bolts back down and you're good to go then you got the main bracket on there then the next part is you attach the other underside bracket here and then you can hang your leds so the good news is i have b2 fabrication exhaust tips on here so these are five inch tips uh, they are an inch bigger than the OEM ones, and this bracket kit works perfectly fine with those as well. There's plenty of clearance between the exhaust tip and the bracket. So I'm going to go ahead and use a 5 8 inch socket to remove these nuts. I'll put the bracket on there, tighten everything back down, and then we'll move on to the second bracket on the side. All right, so we have the main bracket. I went ahead and installed both sides. So again, we're still working on the passenger side here, or at least focusing on that one. So the next thing we're going to do is use a supplier to hardware to mount the actual LED pod bracket to the main bracket. So this one, there's one per side. You got a slot and then you got a hole. You're gonna line up the hole with the outboard side of that bracket and then the slot with the slot on the main bracket and go ahead and use the supplied hardware to install that. So let's go ahead and do that and then we could drop the LED on here and then start the fun part, which is the wiring, which will probably take me most of the video to do that. So let's go ahead and get both the passenger side and driver side uh, second brackets on there and then we can get the throw the LEDs on there. We could take a look at their clearance before we start tackling the um, The wiring so let's do it. Okay, so I got that bracket on there um, Next thing we're gonna do is we are going to install the LED pod onto the bracket But we're not gonna tighten everything down and the reason I'm not gonna tighten everything down is I want to make sure that once I have power run to the pods I can aim them and in order to aim them you need access to the screw and once you install the LED pod, you really lose access to that. So I have this thing kind of loose right now and I could slide it around just a bit. Um, so what I'll do is I'll just hang the, the LEDs in there for now. And basically they just slide up just like that. And then um, we'll leave them hanging there. That way, once we get power, then we can go ahead and aim them you know, where I want to go because I kind of want them cocked out to the side, similar to my A-pillar ones where I have them out to the side a little bit. I want to cover the side of the road when I'm backing up. 
So let's go ahead and start working on the wiring route. Let's go ahead and uh, I guess unbundle the uh, the Z Rhodes wiring bracket or wiring harness and see what we're dealing with. Okay, so I went ahead and unbundled the wiring harness that comes in the kit, and as you can see, you get plenty of length. So between this plus the harness I have from my uh, wireless controller, I think I'll be able to clear the truck or, or make the span pretty easily. So at the end of it, you get two of the plugs, and these will plug right into the back of the LED pods, so there's no modification needed there. You follow the wire all the way up. Then at the end, you get a, let's see, there's that relay that I was talking about. You get a switch as well as a fuse, and then you run those to your battery. So then the switch is what triggers the relay, and then that drives the lights. So in my case, what I'm going to end up doing is clipping a harness right here, and I don't need the relay, I don't need the fuse, and I don't need the switch because I'm going to use my own switch, which will connect to one of these guys. So I'll probably put on channel three here. So what I'm going to do as far as wiring, I'm going to start here and then try to figure out because the trickiest part is going to be getting the wire from that portion around the fender into up against the frame. Once I get up against the frame, it's a straight shot here. Then once you get to the back, it's a little bit more manipulating. But honestly, the hardest part is getting it from that top fuse box there and drop it down safely and get it around everything. I have plenty of harness between this and my AAC one, so if I have to take the long way to do it, so be it. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and dive into wiring and we'll get back with you once I have the wiring done. But just to give you a kind of an idea of where we're at with the lights, so there they are. And they're not blue, so don't worry about that. That's just a protective film. So I'm going to go ahead and get the wiring harness installed, and then we could work on aiming these guys. Let's do it. Okay, so we finished up wiring. It took about an hour and a half to run the wires. So basically, we have our third channel right here. So we took the wire, we dropped it straight down. From there, let's see if you can... That wire right there, that is the, the um, power wire for my rear reverse slides. Right there, I dumped it into the truck's chassis, and then I ran a fish tape and basically fished that wire all the way through the chassis, all the way to the back. So I popped out in a couple areas just so I could have access and um, I could connect the AAC cable to the Z Rhodes uh, harness. But from there, I or I guess from the trigger control module up on the fuse box, I ran the wire straight down. I entered the chassis right there. Then that runs straight this way runs through the chassis and then it pops up so let's take a look so the wire runs from the chassis that's the front of the truck it's still in here still in here and then it pops out right here so it pops out here it grabs an electric harness and this is your floor box so you have a reference or the floor storage box it keeps going and then once I find another hole right by that body mount so then that wire follows that electric harness that I found pops right back into the chassis there and then from there I ran another stiffer fish tape all the way to the back and that's where it pops out of the chassis in the back for plugging into the uh, rear lights so let's go ahead and take a look at how I ran all the wires in the back it's not perfect yet I still need to clean it up but for now it gets power to the back and I was able to functionally test my lights so let's go ahead and take a look at those okay so we're on the rear driver side so I said I used that fish tape and basically ran the cable all the way through the chassis. This is where it pops out of the chassis right here. The main wire then comes here and this is where it tees off. So one of the wires I bring it down and I connect into the driver's side light. The other wire I run through the tube for the hitch. And it runs this way, this way, this way, this way. And then it pops out right over there. And then I'll have my connections, I'll zip tie them to the front of the bracket so it's up and out of the way. Same thing with this one. I have the the wire. It goes through this little bracket on the hitch itself or on the receiver and then I'll just zip tie and clean up everything on, over there. So again, pops out of the chassis here and then the extra wire I just stuffed in here. Uh, one thing that's a common issue when you're running reverse lights and if you have rear parking sensors is you'll get a interference between the two. So do your best to try to keep these wires away from any of those rear sensor wires because the second you turn them on there might be interference and if you do need to cross them cross them at 90 degrees or cross the wires perpendicular don't run them side by side because then you'll get flux out of the wires and that's what causes the uh, 
the issues inside the sensor and then your sensors will be going haywire when you're not even close to anything. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and tighten up everything and then zip tie up all the wires up underneath here and then I'll wait till it gets darker outside and then we could test out the lights. All right, so we're up. We got the lights mounted. I angled them out just a tiny bit. I'm going to wait until it's dark out again just to make sure I can aim them completely. But the last thing we got to do now, ooh, pull that off, pull that off, and that looks sweet. And I like how low profile they are. They hang about, about as low as my five inch exhaust tip, maybe a little bit higher than they do. So like I said, uh, we will come back later on in this video at night so I can show you just how well these things light up the road and so I can aim them a little bit better. But again, as far as wiring, I drop the wire straight down from the fuse box and then just find holes in the chassis and run it all through there. There's plenty of insulation on the wires from both the AAC harness as well as the Z-Road harness. So as long as you um, run it through and pull it taut make sure everything's tight when you're going through the chassis and if you do have to pop out in certain areas make sure you zip tie it down so it's not bouncing and rubbing then it comes goes through the chassis again over here and it pops out right in the rear and then all of my excess wiring is just tucked into the hitch tube so there's a cross brace tube that goes from one side to the other on the hitch you can just throw all the wires in there zip time and then they're good to go so again we'll uh, wait till it gets a little bit darker out to test them out but so far, they look awesome. And you know what, let me go grab the remote and we could see, I could just show you that they actually do work right now and then, like I said, we'll, we'll see what they look like at night. Okay, so I have my truck in the on position right now, not fully on, but it is on. Yep, you can hear my stereo just turned on. So we have our wireless remote. Go ahead, flip it, boom, on, off. Looks good. So like I said, after uh, it gets dark outside, we'll come back and we will uh, test out the lights and aim them a little bit better. But that's how you install them. All right, so we are on a dead end road here. The road itself is about 200 yards long. Then I have at about 30 yards, I put a fold out chair so you can kind of see how far that the, these lights throw. They throw a ton. Uh, so I got a cornfield on each side. So you should be able to see kind of the throw on each side too. Um, again, I have these pointed just slightly to the side. I, I suppose I can go a little bit more out, but my God, did these throw a ton of light. So let's go ahead. So I'm standing in the bed of the truck, I guess, for reference, because I wanted to kind of show you exactly what that throw looks like. So let's go ahead and turn them on. Boom. Turns night into day. So you can see, I could probably go a little bit further out to the side to light up the sides a little bit more, but that chair is that little dot right there. That's 30 yards. So that is plenty as far as backup lights. So off, on. These things turn night into day. This is insane. These are super bright. And like I said, I barely have them cocked out to the side. You can kind of see. So from the back of the truck, um, the spread's pretty tame. Again, I could crank it out to the side a little bit more if I want, but I mean, I don't think I need to. The lighting is awesome. Okay, one thing I forgot to mention was, or I guess I forgot to show, was just how bright these things look on the camera when it's pitch black outside. So again, we're on that same road. Uh, we are in reverse right now, so you can see my reverse lights, my brake lights going on and off. So you could basically, you could maybe see 10, 15 yards behind you, but once you turn the lights on, you could see a ton, and it's probably throwing the white balance off on my camera. So what I am gonna do is I'll probably crank these out just a little bit just to cover my camera uh, coverage a little bit more, but look how much further down the road you can see. So it's on, off, on, off. So look at, you can see way down there. So again, you could probably see 50 to 75 yards down the road. Do you really need that? No, but you definitely have the capability. All right, with that said, now the video is officially done. So hope you guys enjoyed the installation. Hope you learned a little bit of something. Hope uh, my tips, tricks, how to's, made your installation just a little bit easier like comment subscribe below thank you very much for watching take care guys